My name is Ked Frank, and I'm the founder and president of Refuge for Women. And we started this organization back in 2009. And what we do is that we provide a safe place for women who are escaping just the horrific things of human trafficking. And so we give them a safe place to go, an opportunity just to start over in life and dream again about what life can be versus maybe what it's been forced to be for however many months and years. And so it's a new opportunity that we're providing for women. When we took over this property, as we sought to get the change of occupancy to make it a, a group home, we ran into some challenges. When the Refuge for Women attempted to convert this single family home to a group home, they realized additional active or passive fire protection would be needed. And so we started learning about some of the requirements that we were going to need to, to do to the home, realizing that with the list of things that they were going to require us to do, we, they basically told us, you may just want to bulldoze the house and start over again because it's, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to need to be done. The other option was to install uh, a sprinkler system. Bulldoze the building or put fire sprinklers in. Fire sprinklers provided an incredible level of safety that would ensure the residents would not be the victims of unfriendly fire and would allow the project to proceed at a reasonable cost. The authority having jurisdiction approved a 13D system for the single family home conversion, which would prove to be an essential approval and allow for the use of an innovative pump and tank solution. We were gonna donate everything, uh, all the material, all the labor, everything for it we were gonna donate. Um, and just kind of reaching out and seeing the generosity of many companies wanting to help us out with material was fantastic. Former NFSA intern Brent Carver contacted NFSA for help with this project his employer Amtech had taken on at no charge to Refuge for Women to see if we could solicit product contributions or donations from our members. NFSA was given the bill of materials for this project and we received donations from the Viking Group for all the pipe fittings and fire sprinkler heads. General Air Products generously stepped in to donate one of their innovative H2 Home residential pump and tank systems. This is a plot of land out in the middle of nowhere, Kentucky, um, which has terrible water pressure, um, which is a factor when it comes to sprinkler systems because we have to have a certain pressure to be able to operate the system. General Air has continuously innovated the design of their H2 Home product as it has been used in FEMA disaster housing all over the country. Without this pump and tank solution and the AHJ approving a 13D system, the water supply challenges would have been more difficult to overcome, presented more challenges for the contractor, and greatly increased the cost and time to completion of this important project. And so from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you uh, for making this possible, for ex donating the materials, donating the labor, all the different things that are coming together as a result of everybody teaming up. The generosity of, of people, the generosity of different companies, yeah, it's awesome. And I want to say thank you and let you know how much we appreciate everybody teaming together to, to be able to pull this off. Lives are going to be changed and saved as a result of you doing this. NFSA is grateful to our members that participated in this project, the Viking Group, the General Air Products, as well as to Amtech for showing that a stronger fire sprinkler industry does indeed lead to a safer world.